Here are your options for Colton Kowser, Ryan Mountcastle, Adley Rutschman, and Gunnar Henderson. Slightly futuristic Teletubbies. To be honest, that's where I landed first, but it doesn't quite feel right because I'm not even sure Teletubbies talk. They just like frolic in fields under a creepy sun and stuff. Teenagers with attitudes. Go, go Power Rangers. I mean, the power does in fact lie on their side. Or maybe they're just your typical Gen Zer. They're bringing back all the things that we did in the 90s and 2000s, the flare jeans, the crop tops, and the slip dresses. I'm a little happier with this development though. The juicy couture tracksuit, it's cozy, it's comfortable, and it's a whole shirt. It's so hot. <laughs> You almost held it. You almost held it. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Okay, there's their pregame tracksuits. Buck Showalter making his return to Baltimore. We got the tribute video. It was there from 2010 to 2018. James McCann, uh, he was traded from the Mets to the Orioles last offseason. Those are his first two RBI of the game. Yep, we're keeping track. Bottom of the sixth. The game is now tied at two, though not for long. Ryan O'Hearn rips that one to the gap. Jordan Westberg, he'd been on first. He's now home, and the Orioles took a 3-2 lead. Guess what? They never looked back. Mm. Two batters later, it's McCann again. That is off the wall. That's going to score one. McCann was later asked if, if this game mattered more to him, and yes, the play continues. The moment Ugrius is called safe at the plate. McCann was like, uh, I'd be lying if I said it didn't. <laughs> Five RBI, he reached base safely in every plate appearance in his first game against his former team. Bottom of the seventh, Orioles now lead 6-2. Runners on the corners, Westberg. Bye-bye. Second home run of the season. I told you the power does, in fact, lie with them. Exhibit A, Orioles win big 10-3.